My feelings about math when I first started this process, I absolutely hated math. I wanted nothing to do with it. And now it's actually becoming fun. It's a language that I'm finally starting to understand. I took Algebra 1A seven times in high school. I dropped out of high school because I didn't understand math. And now here it is <clears throat> X amount of years later and I, I walk next month. I graduate with my associate's degree. I got accepted into Sam Houston. I, I mean, a lot's changed because of this class. <laughs>Math did impact my college plans because from the get-go, I was worried that I wouldn't have what it took to pass the classes. So I kind of figured maybe it'd be like high school all over again, and I'd quit because I couldn't do the math. I found that in the statistics class at Lone Star and in the research methods at SAM, the fact that you could reshape the way statistics looks like you can reshape the numbers it makes a difference in all statistics especially with research because they can kind of move the numbers around and make you see what they want you to see even though that may not even really be the case me asking for help is greatly different now than before the foundations class because I think that I learned in that class that I'm not the only one that doesn't know and it's okay to ask for help. It's not a big deal. The first passing test I got actually went up on the refrigerator like I was a little kid. I did because I was proud of it and I put my kids good grades up there too. So if I'm in school and I get a good grade, my grade should be there too. My emotions run high with being at Sam because this is where I've wanted to be since middle school. And really, I feel like thanks to this class, I can be here. Like this is somewhere that I should have been a long time ago, but because of the math, I was held back and I finally got to succeed and I finally got to be where I was supposed to be. In five years, hopefully, I will be making a difference, if not in the world, at least in one person's world, as a sexual assault domestic violence advocate.